now we're on to step 2.5.1. You're going to need to go ahead and grab your gantry parts out of box A. Right here I've got the gantry and the two y-axis rails. Uh, y-axis, like I was uh, indicating, is front to back and then our x-axis is side to side. Now this looks a, like a octopus of wires, uh, tons of wires here, but don't worry, we're going to go through these one by one and you'll absolutely be successful getting these uh, uh, installed and ready to go. So in this step, what we need to do is install these rails into these linear bearings. This is double supported on this side and this side with two bearing blocks right in here. And these are the rails going through it. Now, first thing I want you to do is go ahead and remove this plastic like we were mentioning before. Um, it's easier to get it off once we remove this because it's gotta be slid through these bearing supports. Now, once we get these rods through these bearing supports, what we're gonna do is tram and align these bearings by loosening up these caps and tightening them up in a cross pattern and that will uh, find their natural center onto the rod and let them uh, uh, basically uh, flow in there nice and smooth. So the first thing we need to do is remove the uh, brass uh, nut or, or shaft right off of the end of the ground collar. So we're just gonna take our uh, two millimeter hex, uh, break that loose, and that is just gonna slide off. Now when I take this off, this is what I want you to note. Where our little Allen set screw is that we just loosened up, there's a flat on the shaft right in here. That needs to line up uh, right there with that shaft. And uh, when we tighten it up, just make sure that that lines up with the flat shaft. Now you're gonna have a little thrust washer right in here. Go ahead and remove that thrust washer. And you're gonna notice that this thing free spins. And that's because all of the rods are bearing supported uh, in, in this assembly, uh, ball bearing supported, even though they don't twist in this particular application, is the same mount that's used elsewhere. But it's got really nice uh, precision ball bearings in there. So with that off, go ahead and slide the plastic off of the shaft. And uh, all we need to do now is insert it into the bearing uh, rails. Now this isn't directional, meaning there isn't a left or a right or front and a rear. They're identical in any direction. But the chamfer here on the edge of the shaft uh, isn't that great. And this is a very uh, precision machine to these ball bearings. So as we insert it into the ball bearing tracks, just be careful that you don't hit it at an angle. You can easily damage the ball bearings as it enters and or even shove them out of their tracks. So just make sure you thread it in and you can feel where it's in the natural center and just slide it on through. So next thing we need to do is just put our thrust washer back on, our bearing block, and then our collar again, just lining up that flat. Shove it until it uh, dead stops or, or bottoms out and just tighten that back up. And there we go. We're just gonna repeat the exact same process for this side. Right, it's as simple as that. Now the next thing we're gonna do, like I was mentioning, is go ahead and tram up these blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and remove one of these caps so you can see what's actually underneath it and what's supporting this uh, gantry for the high-speed machining operation. Now a lot of the cheaper uh, uh, 3D printers out there use bushings and uh, rods and rails um, and a couple other things. These are using all linear ground uh, rails with ball bearing slides. So I'll just pull this open and you can have a look underneath these caps. Right in here, it has a bunch of ball bearings for the track, and this is what is uh, in, in here. So you just so you know and what's inside. Go ahead and close that on up. All right, so in the process, all you're gonna do is loosen up all four of these screws. Uh, and then to tighten it up, you're just gonna tighten it up in a cross pattern. I'm just gonna get these tight, back them off a little bit. Okay, and loosen these ones up. All right, so right now those bearings are loose into that. So just go ahead and give it a couple wiggles, make sure that it finds its natural center. And we're gonna tighten this up in a cross pattern, meaning we're gonna tighten this one, come on down to the bottom of the opposite side. Come straight up. 
and over and across. There we go. Nice and smooth. Now those bearings are straight and in line with each other with the rod itself. We're going to just repeat that exact process right over here.